Happy 4th of July, everyone. What's cracking, guys? It's Will, aka the Comic Beast, and I'm here to bring five hot comics that have turned ice cold. These are comics that were on high demand, hot 10 lists, grails, and FOMO, the fear of missing out. Make sure you check out my eBay page where I add three new items every single day to help me chase my comic book grails. I'm young, school's all done, and I'm on the hustle. Now, with all that being said, smash that subscribe, hit the like, and ring the bell. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for joining. Up first, we have Uncanny X-Men 239. This is the first cover appearance of Madeline Pryor and Mr. Sinister, as well as the second appearance of Mr. Sinister in a comic. This gets a little bump now and then when speculators start talking about mutants in the MCU, and definitely is one of the bigger characters a lot of people still want to see. How soon will we see him? That is still up in the air. On June 26, 2021, we saw a 9.8 registered sale hit a peak high of $660. And on July 1, 2023, this sold for $175, its lowest price since January of 2021. There are 206 on the census at a 9.8, and it has a 90-day average of $199. Next is Joker, the Man Who Stopped Laughing, issue number 3, the Lee Bermejo variant. There is no key to this issue, just awesome cover art. This came out of the gate hot on December 22, 2022. This sold for $200 at a 9.8, and like a lot of variants, it could not hold its value. On June 27, 2023, a half a year later, it just sold for $35 with a 90-day average of $83, and this has a total of 338 9.8s on the census. Next is a book that I've been keeping an eye out for quite a while, and I'd love to get this book from my dad who is a huge fan of this character from Star Wars Rebels. This is his most anticipated bad guy that he has been waiting for, and I'm talking Star Wars Heir to the Empire, the first appearance of Admiral Thrawn. For me personally, I like the price dropping because it'll make it that much easier to obtain. On July 5th, 2021, this hit a peak high at $2,300 for a 9.8. And two years later, this just sold on July 3rd for $837 and has a 90-day average of $1,054 with a total of 389.8s on the census. Next, we have Avengers issue number 8 at a 9.4. This is the first appearance of Kang the Conqueror, and it is unfortunate that we have been seeing Jonathan Major's legal battles in the media. Maybe that is the cause of this comic dropping or the end of the comic boom or just MCU burnout. Either way, Avengers issue number 8 has really dropped in price. Just this year, on January 15th, 2023, a 9.4 sold for $14,400. And six months later, on June 25th, this sold for $5,520, a total drop in price of $8,880, with a total of 32 on the census at a 9.4. But this isn't the biggest drop on the list today. The last book we have on the list today is Savage Tales issue number one, the first appearance and origin of Man-Thing. Fans love seeing this character on Werewolf by Night, the Disney one-shot special, so much so that we saw his self-titled comic spike only to fall back down. And that is what we are seeing here today with Savage Tales. A 9.8 sold on November 21st, 2021 for a whopping $37,200, and now, on June 25th, its latest 9.8 sales sold for $11,400, a total drop of $25,800. Right now, there are a total of 21 9.8s on the census. Will this comic bounce back? Tell me in the comments below. And now, as always, thank you all for watching. Check out my eBay page if you want to help me chase down some of my grails. Make a purchase, and I want to give a big thank you to all the great comments each and every week. Josh, Joker, Mark Spector, Green Machine and many more. I really appreciate it. You, all of you rock, and those new to the channel, if you like this content and made it this far, thank you and smash that subscribe so you don't miss the wide variety of videos I put out each and every week. Everyone have a safe and fun July 4th. I'm Will, the Comic Beast, and as always, Party on, dudes! Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless, I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it, and I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations, don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story, I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I